Hello. Video today, um, mostly in response to a comment I had from uh, Hans Campbell. Thank you for your, for your interest. Um, who asked a question about the uh, track, and it is something I've been asked before once or twice on a couple of forums and so on. So um, I suppose it's worth mentioning, um, and it might be useful to somebody I suppose from a sort of uh, beginner's perspective. Um, the track work really isn't anything expensive, fine scale or special. It's Pico, Code 100, um, Insul Frog, so it has insulated frogs, so there's no um, particularly complicated wiring or anything going on. Um, I'll talk about the track first and then perhaps a little bit about the, the, the plan of it a little bit as well. Um, as I say, it's Pico Code 100, um, basically laid onto a road bed of uh, 1 8 cork. Um, which I think were cork tiles, um, or perhaps a, a roller sheet from Javis. I'm sure you can get something similar to that. Um, once it was laid, and before I ballasted, I sprayed all the track with a, a matte dark earth colour, which I think was probably a Humbrol spray that I had, and then made sure that while the paint was wet, cleaned off the rails and so on. I then used um, some acrylic paints that I used for painting War Games figures um, to dry brush um, over the sleeper tops with a, a light grey colour here and there and sort of slight changes in the colours <clears throat> just to get some variation and so on. Um, one point worth noting is that although I've used insular frogs and the wiring is really simple, um, on the insulated frog points it's worth soldering in jumpers underneath before you lay the track um, between the point blades and the stock rails to make sure that you're not relying upon that contact which can get dirty uh, between those two there. Um, there's a good site called Wiring for DCC, which I'll post a link for, which is worth checking out for details on all kinds of track and the, the best way to wire them up and so on. Um, and that really is it. The, the um, switch stands here are decorative, they're little plastic kits. Um, I think the Ricks, again, I'll put up the, the link for those, but um, they're just for show. And they, they do add something, actually, I have to admit. I was quite pleased once I'd settled on which ones I was going to get there. <clears throat> um, as far as the plan itself goes, it's a really simple loop with a couple of spurs off it. Um, nothing complicated at all, no crossings. I was a little bit dubious about it perhaps not being very prototypical um, and probably a little bit British in, in its look, but it's actually worked out really well. Um, I suppose from the design point of view, there are one or two sort of key things that I um, considered when I put this together. The first one is, unlike a lot of uh, layout designs, especially for British layouts, there's no hidden off-stage um, fiddle or staging yard or anything. This front track here, I'm not trying to fool anybody at exhibition, this is purely for my home use, um, acts as the, the fiddle track and represents the extension to the rest of the, the, the world, the rest of the railroad there. The length of the track was pretty critical, I didn't just stick them down any old hill. Um, that spur there and um, the run around had to make sure the capacity for that was sort of thought about. Um, and the spur at the end here, so the two sort of switching spurs if you like, or the head shunts, um, can accommodate three units. And if you think of a unit as being um, an HO Loco or a 50 foot uh, car, you're talking about eight inches or so. So, uh, if I, I've worked on a, a basis of three units in each of those, and that would allow me um, the options for, for switching. <clears throat> um, the main loop holds uh, three cars, I believe, um, which again, once I've done a little bit of shuffling around on bits of paper before I built, I felt was enough to enable me to sort of have some interesting switching moves and so on. And the two spurs at the back for the, the lumber and the grain at the far end. Um, slightly more capacity there, about, uh, but that was three cars, I think three or four cars, but that wasn't vital. Um, having said that, the operation was kind of limited and I wasn't too sure what I was doing until I came across the switch list program and that's really worked for me. It is Mac only and again it's one of those questions I've been asked fairly regularly, but at the moment it is just for the Mac. So thank you again for your interest and your, your comments. Um, Hope that's been of some interest or some use. Um, if you have any more questions, by all means ask. And uh, thanks again for your comments.